Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Earthrise Deluxe Class uh, Quintesson Alicon. Looks amazing. As you can see, his ultra mode is that of a Cybertronian um, alligator, I think? He, uh, monstrosity of some sort? Um, anywho, the part of we'll see is green gray, light gray, dark gray, faded blue, purple, red, um, and that's really it for colors. There's no sign of a Quintesson logo or Decepticon logo anywhere on him, but anywho. He appeared in the 86 film. He was one of the, one of the main bodyguards, um, and he, uh, he and his mates were, were kind of, were technically destroyed by Hot Rod Cop and the Dinobots. In the Earthrise Machinima, not Machinima, Netflix, sorry, Earthrise Netflix series, he really didn't do much. He, well, technically didn't appear at all. It was only the the evil uh, uh, Decius, that corrupt Quintesson, that had, <laughs> that just had the one face. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Anywho, in terms of articulation, is arms can rotate up and down. They can kind of go full 360. They don't move out to the side or anything, and the claws don't open. The legs go forward back, out to the side, bend to the knee. Uh, they can rotate. He has ankle tilt. This will be akin to his robot mode artic articulation when we get to it. His main accessories that he comes with is this giant spear. Comes with a, well, Typical with Earth Rise is this uh, tech spec decoder and has a sword thing that's actually part of the tail for robot mode. Of course, um, funny enough, um, <laughs> uh, after almost two years, because actually this was actually part of uh, when I acquired Black Arachnia, Rhinox, um, Black Red Ritchie, and a few others from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, took a little while, but finally came. So, anyway. Although, Alicon looks pretty good, looks incredible, looks pretty sound, and uh, yeah, looks pretty awesome. So, the Transformer is actually pretty easy. So, rotate the arms back like this, and then just straighten out the robot legs. Then what you want to do is take, oh, I forgot to mention his uh, mouth here closes, opens and closes. Um, and the head doesn't rotate, but for it's a bit of a yeah. So untab the back here, right, and then flip this up, and then you yeah where the tail is, you just want to spin it around, flip it like this, and then uh, oh, you want to have this panel flip forward, then spun the waist around and. Let's tab that into place. Um, yeah, in terms of, yeah, just shove the, the back there. The arms themselves will just gracefully untab and straighten out like that. And believe it or not, that is it. That's the transformation. And there you go. There you have Alicon in robot mode. And my God, he looks awesome. Articulation wise, his head can move side to side. It doesn't go really full 360, but it has a lot of ankle tilt up and down side to side. The arms can actually now go full 360. They can actually now go up to the side. They can actually now bend at the elbow. They can rotate. He has wrist articulation. He has a bit of waist due to transformation. That is, if you move this little skirt piece, legs forward back, out to the side, bend at the knee, rotate, ankle tilt. Again, it's the same thing. Well, and the feet can move up and down, but Again, that's partially due to the the articulation and the transformation, you know, and whatnot. Headwise looks amazing. It's the same, you know, it was the very Alicon face that uh, tried to communicate with uh, Hot Rod and Cop, you know, Ba, re ba Weep Grana Weep Nitty Bon, uh, which is Cybertronian for greetings and salutations. This is Spade of the Bolt Matrix here, and I'm here to do a nice video review. I'm just kidding. I, I actually... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just a joke there, honestly. I was just kidding around. Holy shit. 
Anyway, well, weapon-wise, he has his sphere. You can, well, <laughs> his little poacher spear. You can shove it. Well, I mean, it's not like. What I'm trying to say is this. Even though, yeah, even though it can fit all the way into the the beast mode hands, it doesn't really go the way into that. So. Um, and then the other weapon, which is the sword, you can just um, untab from the bonnet there. And there you go, you can wield his sword like that. It can actually peg into that little, uh, this uh, 9mm uh, flippe right there. And it stops in pretty nicely. And actually, of course the tail will move <laughs> so there you go with that in terms of storage of the spear there really isn't any way to store the spear there's a like there's a slot like there's a slot right at the at the tip there um there's no really way to because then there's, there's no like really i mean you could try to well actually Ah, that works. You can actually, there's a couple of slots there, like these two little th slots here at the uh, right beside that little giant peg there, or giant peg hole. Can actually, I'm gonna like do it like this, so it's almost like you know if he's ready to attack or all that, or get ready to do his duty, then just do it like that. So all in all, well, I recommend getting Alec uh, the Quintesson Alicon from Earthrise. He looks pretty good. He was super hard to find when Earthrise came out. I was, it was super incredible. I mean, yes, Gnaw is from Studio Series is a must-have for me because I mean, yes, I have the Earthrise, the Earthrise, the Quintesson Judge, uh, which turned out to be Decius uh, in Earthrise. I might have to make buy another Quintesson to turn, or maybe a third-party company with it. But, but the point is, Alicon looks amazing. The transformation is super easy. The the Alicon mode, like, oh, not the Alicon mode, the beast mode looks pretty wow. And the robot mode looks pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Like, really stout and prominent and such. Has bits of silver at the front there. There's no real real symbols to speak of. Um, but aside from that, it's a really incredible figure, and I would highly recommend purchasing this guy if you can find him. Looks incredible. Won't be disappointed by him one bit. Looks awesome and truly out of this world, to say the least, in many ways possible. So. Anyways, guys, that is my review of the Transformers Generations Earthrise Deluxe Class uh, Cornison Alicon, or Alicon. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yes, so take your own season and a good day. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.